So now we need to talk about what are called mixed or crossed aldol reactions. And, and the idea here is that your nucleophile and your electrophile uh, come from two different ketones or aldehydes uh, instead of just both coming from the same, and uh, as we saw in the self-aldol. So in this case, these can be a little bit problematic, and if you don't set them up properly, you can get a mixture of products. So like if we look at the next one here, uh, if I mix acetone and cyclohexanone under basic conditions, uh, we're going to get four different products. So and technically, we might even get stereoisomers of those four different products, so it might be even more technically than four different products. Uh, but the idea is that I could deprotonate the alpha carbon of acetone and form this enolate. So, and he could go and attack another molecule of acetone, or he could go and attack cyclohexanone. And keep in mind, again, that we don't get 100% conversion of acetone into its enolate. In fact, a very small fraction gets converted into enolate, and that's why you have acetone left in the solution. Now, the other option is you could deprotonate the alpha carbon of cyclohexanone. So and form this enolate. And again, you're gonna form a very small amount of this, and he could then go attack either one of the ketones, some of the cyclohexanone that's left in the solution or the acetone as well. And in this case, they're both ketones. Neither one is a better electrophile, neither one's more acidic, and so you're gonna get a fair amount of all four of these products being possible. So not a great route if your goal was just simply to get like this first one as is the case down below. And, and maybe I do want to make just this first one. How do I pull that off? Well, the first way would just be simply to use LDA. LDA can solve all your problems. Uh, if we look here, if I want this as my product, then what I'm really saying is that I want acetone to for sure be the nucleophile. I want to form only acetones enolate. And the way we pull that off then is we start with acetone and we add LDA just to the acetone. That way the only possible enolate that can form is acetone's enolate. And then we add the cyclohexanone, that way he's the only possible electrophile. So we have 100% conversion of acetone into enolate, so he's only a nucleophile. And then cyclohexone doesn't exist as an enolate at all, so he's only the electrophile. And so we have the only nucleophile reacting with the only electrophile, leading us to our only product. So that's kind of the way this works. So LDA can solve all your problems here, uh, just making sure you get to choose which one actually gets to be the enolate and the nucleophile. Now the second way to come out with a good yield of a single product in a mixed aldol reaction is simply to choose your reactants very carefully. And uh, what you want to end up with is one possible nucleophile. And the way you pull that off is you only want one type of what we say enolizable hydrogens, or just simply alpha hydrogens. So if we look at the two examples we've got down below here, I've got acetone, and the hydrogens on this alpha carbon and the hydrogens on this alpha carbon are exactly equivalent due to symmetry. So in this case, uh, acetone only has one type of alpha hydrogen, one type of enolizable hydrogen. And if we look at the other reactant, benzaldehyde in this case, the only alpha carbon is this one right here, and he doesn't have any hydrogens. So keep in mind that this H is the aldehyde H. It's not attached to an alpha carbon, it's attached to the carbonyl itself. So benzaldehyde doesn't have any alpha hydrogens, so the only place we can even form an enolate is on acetone, and there's only one possible enolate that we could form. It doesn't really matter which of the two alpha carbons I deprotonate. I get this enolate. And so we have one possible nucleophile. Now the other half of this is I want the other reactant to be the better electrophile. And so acetone's a ketone, benzaldehyde is an aldehyde, and aldehydes are better electrophiles than ketones. And so the equilibrium that forms here is definitely going to favor the ketone. We're not gonna form a lot of enolate here. And so this enolate has two options, attach attack acetone or attack benzaldehyde, and fortunately, benzaldehyde is the better electrophile. And so we have one nucleophile possible, and we have the other reagent being the better electrophile, and so you have one predominant product here. Now technically we could form both E and Z here, but E has less steric hindrance, and so it's definitely going to be the major product.